Welcome back to Hot Rod Guy Garage. And today, we're gonna go to a cruise in, do a little driving on the 70, and later on, I'll show you some things I've changed. Well, got the car all cleaned up, so I guess there's nothing left to do but load up at the cruise in. Well, I stopped by the shop, waiting on the boat to get here, so we can ride to the cruise in. See Torino's outside. So, come check on Daisy, make sure she's fed, and, you know, all that good stuff. Hmm. You good, key cat? So, what better time to go over some changes I've made? So what I've done, I went ahead and installed a water methanol kit. What this will do will help reduce IETs and should give us a little increase in power, maybe a little bit of boost. Uh, really didn't like that red ho hose this stuff come with, so I tried to cover it up with some braided wire and loom, but it is what it is. And with this thing being so tight under the hood and there's not really room in the wheel wells to mount a tank and a pump, I had to get creative there too. So what I done, I just went ahead and mounted it in the trunk. So got pump air, tank air, tank's a little higher than pump, so no problems gravity feeding it there. And run all our hoses inside the car and hit them as best as we could. And I know, I could have made a video installing that. And I probably should have. But if I'd done that, I wouldn't be able to bring you a video on this 65 Mustang this week because I done it throughout the week at night so my phone will only hold so much storage so i figured this was worthy of an update more than installing that water methanol kit so i'm gonna wait around a few more minutes until he gets here and then we're gonna ride to the cruise in so you'll probably follow along with the you know a little montage of pictures as we go i'll pop in a little later in the day
Well, come home, mow the yard. You know, the stuff never ends. So, the straightest thing back out was they tell them they're cruising. And if you haven't yet, make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, and most importantly, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. It does help keep you up to date on my videos, and it don't cost anything. So, back to the cruise end. This next day, and that's like go to another car show. So, just where we're at. Wasn't much of a car show, but get to see a few people I know and hung out for a little while, so not all is lost, so let's go drive some more. Well, it's a blistering nine billion degrees outside, and guess what? I broke down on the side of the road. Well, technically not broke down. One of those big lies they tell you in the automotive industry that EFI does not vapor lock. Well, it can, and that's why I'm sitting here on the side of the road. I have zero fuel pressure, the pump's running back there. And every once in a while, it'll make all kinds of horrible noises like it's full of air. Uh, yeah, because it's vapor lock. So I'm sitting here on the side of the road for a little while, letting it cool off. So figured it'd be a good time to pop down on this video. Probably shouldn't went to that car show today. It is one hot day. I'd say it's probably close to 100 degrees at this point. The car's not real happy about it. But it's running about 160 degrees, but the fuel, it's up past that boiling point. Which, if you know anything about our new blended fuels, that this 10%, 15% ethanol crap they give us in the pump nowadays, it has a lower boiling point than pure gasoline. So, say, as they keep adding ethanol to the fuel, this is going to be something more common. So, I've been sitting here about five minutes. I'm going to sit there five minutes before I started that. Because you sure don't have to worry about nobody stopping and helping you anymore on the side of the road. Even though I did have a nice gentleman about five minutes ago stop and asked if I was all right. I appreciate him. It's usually a little faith in humanity, but the other 9,000 cars that pass me, eh, they don't give a crap. So, I'll jump back when I get back home. Yep, it's one of those days. Well, that should do the trick. You know, got that on top of the regulator. Where all the fuel lines merge right there, so. We'll see what happens. Well, the bad guy asked me about I don't know, eight miles up the road. Uh, just gonna let it cool off and sit here and just enjoy the day. Because sometimes when stuff like this happens, guys, there's a reason for it. Sometimes you just need to slow down and enjoy what's around you. So, as I sit here, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, actually stopped at a really cool place right now. Too bad they're closed little burger place uh, been here for a long time but sitting in a parking lot in the shade on a little park bench nice little breeze blowing pretty nice so let this thing cool down a little bit more i'm not probably 15 minutes away from home so hopefully after this little cool down session i'll make it the rest of the way and i made it back home so it made that last 15 minutes and it started trying to vapor lock when I pulled in the driveway. So it's in the garage. That's something that's going to have to be addressed. So, you have any input on that, comment down below. Um, 
it does have a return fuel system it is fuel injected uh, all in figures that throttle body's just getting hot sitting above me in manifolds on that intake so i don't know guys so if you enjoyed this video make sure you like this video share it with your friends and most importantly if you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button because it does help channel grow and i'll see y'all the next video thanks for watching